Hello, I'm Jonathan Bishop, Dr. Greco's uh, Physics 2 class. This is my test wrapper for my third physics test. Um, like the previous test wrappers, I'm just going to go over my test and kind of make a study guide for any future users on how to do the problems that I got incorrect. So, I only got one problem completely right this time, it's problem two. I'll quickly go over problem one. I had problem, well I guess my only problem, I had two problems with this. In the problem, they had this, and in the solutions, this would have been IL and IR. And with my answers, I try to accommodate with it for it with I3, which kind of messed up my answer for number for part C. But I like my work is correct though. It's just I wish I would have known that I could split it up into IR and IL. And then I for part E, I got wrong because. I solved for R when it explicitly said solved for the current, which is I. So that's another careless mistake on my part. Got number two completely right. Only got one point off on number th three. And it was a careless mistake. Um, the length of the bulb was supposed to be one centimeter. So 0 0.01 meters, but in the problem, I accidentally put 0 0.1 meters, aka 10 centimeters. So another careless mistake. And on the last problem, like again, everything would have been correct, except for on this first first problem, I used the magnetic force of a wire on another wire, and it was supposed to be just a wire on a point charge. And because of that error, the error kind of kept having a snowball effect with the rest of the problem. Except for part D, which I got completely wrong. It asks, how would you answer to part B change if the particle, charge particle were replaced with a proton? So here's a positive plate, the negative plate. And it's asking if this charged particle would turn into a proton. I said that the proton would travel toward the top of the capacitor because the magnetic force and electric force would push the proton in the positive y direction. That's wrong because the magnetic force would switch, but the electric force would also switch. And I kept thinking that only the magnetic force would switch. So. That's my test wrapper. Thanks for listening.